Okay. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, Sig2 Automation Nephew for uh, Sig2 Automation uh, meeting for Nephew uh, Wednesday, December 6, 2023. We're getting towards the end. So, hi, everybody. Uh, I am uh, your new chair elected by you. Thank you so much. Um, I was uh, vice chair a year ago. And uh, funny or not, just uh, yesterday, I celebrated one year at Google. So uh, it's been exactly a year. Um, when we'll join in a bit, but we can start going through the agenda. Um, and I'll say I'm, I'm a <laughs> new SIG chair. I've, uh, in the past, release cycle until now for R2, I've been spread out between SIG1, SIG2, and SIG3 quite a bit, and uh, haven't been 100% involved as, as the chairs were in SIG2. So I am, uh, I'm going to defer a lot of this to, uh, to Wim, who has been far more involved in, in the release process. So I'm really here just to facilitate the meetings and make sure that everything goes okay and kind of focus on, on my contribution. So let's start with the R2 checklist. Um, actually, let me make sure I'll open it too. All right, thank you for your uh, patience as I'm, I'm getting back on board with this. Um, oops. Okay, my window system is not working as great as I thought. All right, here we go. Okay, now this is the discussions. Ah, do we have a link to the board at the top? Yeah, here we go. Sorry, Tal. I don't know. If just... <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Tal. I don't know if it's just my screen, but I'm just seeing your top left of yours of your share. Really? Okay. Yeah. Um, Actually, I'm thing. seeing the project board. You see the, the full... project board? Yeah. You're seeing the full 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 board. Uh, I'm just seeing top left. I am seeing about like 18, call, 18 rows, okay. but not clear. Yeah. It's, it's my, my view, sorry, my, my window, sorry, sorry. Oh. Okay, I can stop sharing and try again, or uh, maybe I won't rock the boat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Bala, are you here? Bala is not here. Okay. Um, So rather than going through everything, um, wait, there's the consolidated sprint. There we go. Um, any specific issue that people want to raise? I know there's one PR I'll talk about in a bit, but anything else? Okay. Um, we have Dell, I want to add. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, can you please go to the board? Yes. Yeah, yes, uh, four not one and four not two. In to do list, uh, they should be in uh, in progress. From to do to in progress. Oh, and to do. Okay, four. Yeah. 401 and 402. Hey, hey, all. Sorry, I joined late. Oh, no problem. Yeah. yeah, we're just looking at the board. So um, this is in progress. Why can I not? Oh, sorry, guys. Um, yeah, I have to use another browser for this. I'm not logged into. OK, give me a second. <laughs> OK, this will take me too long. I, I wonder, um, uh, Bala, can you help me with this and uh, open the board on your end? OK, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your patience, everybody, as I'm uh, yeah. yeah. Sorry, back. sorry, Joel, I, I should have done it. I, I'm sorry for joining. No, no, meeting. no worries. Uh, Wim is a little late, too. Um, yeah. Doing a great job so far, Tom. <laughs> yeah, clumsily getting back into the fold. <laughs> um, there was, so uh, while you're looking at this, uh, what was the PR for the um, uh, the, the uh, Helm to Operator Generator? 
Does somebody remember what was the title of it? I don't know why I can't find it right now. I was looking at it a few minutes ago. Uh, yeah, I think that was against the SDK report, right? Correct, yeah. Okay, yeah. Let me share my screen. Now. There is an issue open for it too, right? That's what I didn't know if there was an issue. Yeah, let me. Yeah, I'm trying to share. Oh, okay. Let me give let you share that. Okay. Can you? Yeah, we can see. Okay. Oh, uh, Joseph, your hand is up. Uh, yeah, I think uh, Ronak, was, you were discussing something with Ronak, right? Maybe after that. Okay. Yeah, I think. Uh, 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 yeah, well, I was just telling that 401 and 402, actually, they should be in progress from to do. Yeah. So, so tell one of the main. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, tell. Finish your thoughts. Oh yeah, the, so those two items just mentioned and they're in the to-do column and we just want to move them to in progress. Okay, they are in 401, okay. Yeah, yeah 401. 401 and 402. Yeah, you're not signed in, I have the same issue. That's why you can't track. <laughs> okay, let me see. Uh, I don't know, when did I need to send this? <laughs> uh, yeah, you're, okay. you're having issue, right? Yeah. Okay. Let, let, you know, let's maybe move on in the meanwhile. Yeah, um, I think I I think I'll I'm done. I think I should be able to. Um, so the the next is a big topic. Um, to talk about our frustrations with the process, we've started a little bit to talk about it, but we didn't really dive in depth. Yeah. Um, I, maybe before we dive into that, let's finish the two other things first that I think are more easy to decide, and then we can have an open ended discussion. Does that sound okay? Yeah, I okay. So I I want to also tell uh, I want to also ask the, one of the main thing uh, in this today's meeting, Tal, that we need to tell whether we can meet the December fifteenth date or not. Otherwise, we need to go back to TSA. That's one thing we need to decide in this meeting. Yeah, yeah. Um... So, so in terms of the all the changes to the CRD and the changes to the both free five GC and OAI RAN and core operators. Uh, are we in a position of code freeze? Uh, are, are, will we be in a position of code freeze by the end of this week? And then we can take next two weeks to do the documentation and testing. Uh, I also would like to hear from Victor about the test and freeze on the call. Obviously, when I'm presenting, I cannot see who's who's here. So I think those are some of the things that we need to discuss, Tal. Uh, I yeah. think we need to come to some conclusion at the end of this meeting, whether we need to go back to TSC with a message that we need extension or not. Okay, yeah, let, let me add that to the agenda as I think that's probably more important than everything else. Yeah. I don't see Victor on the call. Um, okay, thanks, Vish. Yeah, yeah so, so that's the most critical. So let's really start with that. Um, well, what we can do is look what we have in progress right now and think if any of them are blocking and then maybe look at the to-do column and see if there's something that's a must-have that we have to move into in progress. How does that sound? Yes, yes. Okay. So uh, to start with, uh, can I ask uh, Sagar or Joseph? Uh, can you please give us? I mean, uh, Sagar and Joseph, and obviously Ronak, they were the some of the doing the one of the heavy lifters uh, for this particular release in terms of the changes that were uh, uh, identified. So Sagar or Joseph, can you give us uh, the lay of the land where we are in terms of those changes? Yeah, uh, so uh, in terms of the operator and CRDs and all that, there's, I think we did a test till today evening. I think we integrated the RAN and core. We have deployed using the NFO, but it's based on the R1 infrastructure. 
uh, basically the edge uh, regional and the edge one and edge two uh, infrastructure which we had uh, in R one. In on top of that, I've deployed uh, or added new networks for the RAN component. So there were some issues related to that. Uh, we raised it with Wim. He's working on it, uh, but I think we found a way i mean to use certain network names which will work uh, so for now we use those things and uh, we are able to yeah connect the run and the core and also attach the uh, so that we are at that stage right now and i think once we have the infrastructure uh, then we can try to deploy the same on the new infrastructure and uh, test it that's the Okay, so for the infrastructure, I, I had a uh, request uh, if it is possible to get a, a VM where we can work together, like me, Sagar, and Victor together in common VM where we can access. Is that possible? Uh, because the VMs in our office cannot be accessed by others. Uh, that's something that I wanted to say. Hmm. Um, I don't know if from Google we we have uh, infrastructure we can easily give. Stephen, do you know if there's something? From us, no, because our when we create stuff is under Google.com domain. Yeah. That's very private. Um, the Nephrio one. So I, I remember doing the. I, I think Victor asked me that question too. I haven't checked. I'll, I'll check later. So I'm, I'm supposedly one of the admins, but then I remember back then when Arwen asked for an account, I wasn't able to set up for him. So so John ended up doing it anyway. So I'm I, I'm not quite sure what my permission level really is. But again, I, I I'll, I'll check. I'll, I'll I'll check and see whether or not that would be possible. So to, to be honest, I might be able to do something privately. I have a very powerful uh, setup home lab. <laughs> And I do have, can provide access externally. It's it's very informal, but I would put that as like a last resort. Maybe let's try to do something formal first, but um, but it's absolutely possible for me just to create ad hoc users for people and let them do whatever they want on it. Um, but maybe, um, yeah, let's maybe think of something more cloud-based. Um, yeah, I'm just thinking, you know, we're testing for, right? Uh, I think that's, that's what you were, you're both alluding to. Uh, tall and uh, so infra, I see. Yeah, 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 just infra. I think, do you think we can create a VM in that environment, Stephen, and then use uh, use it for purposes of what uh, uh, Joseph was talking about? Yeah, I, I think that's yeah, that's prop that should be possible. Yeah, let me check. I'm actually surprised uh, some of you guys are not able to because during the only summit, I thought we were using the same account <laughs> and able to create a VM. Yeah, the thing is, like with the the one system, uh, the one summit, uh, what we do is we create like a pool of uh, PMs for for the attendees. Mm -hmm. So in this case, um, yeah, I, I get Bish, um, Bradon, I, and John has access to the to the project, but but I, I, usually the way that we request access was through through John. He was mm -hmm. able to give I us. See. Um, so John is uh, on vacation, um, yeah. but um, you know, let's try to do this offline. Uh, well, let's talk on Slack, and we'll see if uh, uh, Stephen and I will uh, try to figure it out. Okay, Stephen? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Um, but you know what? I'm, I'm. This discussion is leading me to think that December fifteenth seems very, very close, right? Yeah, I mean, that's what I was thinking, too. I mean, obviously, the last two weeks, many of us are out. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, I, I have a feeling we don't have to continue going. I, I think we need to ask for extension. It's just, uh, you know, <laughs> it, it seems very, very tight, especially with just all the issues of uh, vacation in December. So yeah. if your checklist is actually updated to reflect that, that will be a, that will make a better case, you know, to say where where we are not ready. Oh, um, yeah, well, checklist. I, yeah, I mean, we are not even there, Vish. Actually, we are not feature complete. 
Uh, I mean, in the sense, uh, what I'm trying to say is at any point of time, you have a map, you have a plan and you have a map of where we are, right? So if I look, if somebody looks at the checklist, they'll get an idea of, ah, okay, you need two weeks or you need four weeks or you need six weeks. So that's what I'm saying. It's like a dashboard to reflect where we are and say, uh, because the next set of questions will be, when will you be ready? So yes, some people, that, 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 was the, that was the thing I was going to ask uh, here. Uh, so, 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 so tall. If I may ask uh, Sagar and Joseph uh, and uh, Ronak, Ronak, I think I don't know. I joined a bit late. I don't know if on the call or not. Yeah, I am here only. Hey, hey Ronak, sorry. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so how much yeah. uh, do you think? Like, do we need? Actually, the free five G C code is done, and we have raised the PR, which needs to be reviewed by Vim. Actually, there is one. Uh, issue in a P for SMF. In API code uh, for object reference, we have defined only API version kind and name, but in SMF code, there is namespace too. So it is causes conflict uh, to, to, test, to test the SMF. Uh, otherwise, EMF and UPF is working fine as we done our functional testing for those both. And even reconciler for both also are working fine. Uh, so we need to discuss this with Vim, but he is running quite busy nowadays, so we can't catch him. So you you able you able to get resolve the uh the the issue with uh with the he, IP address binding problem? Yeah, actually it was a environment setup issue. It's a setup. So yeah, I, you told me that maybe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So I tried those on uh, GCP, which was working okay. fine. What was, what was the last SMF problem? Yeah, that we need to discuss with him. But he's okay. running quite busy nowadays. That's a, so that, that's a specializer. Him. You mean there's a specializer side problem? It's more like yeah. a control. I, I see. Okay. Yeah, because we need to check from uh, API code as well. Because it is uh, object reference are defined in API only. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> So the reason I don't think we need to, to move on is because, uh, I mean, this, this is one of the biggest landings for uh, R2, <laughs> right? Uh, the OAI packages. So uh, that is not something that can be delayed after. So yeah, we can't release without. So any blocker for that, I think, would cause a, a would force us to ask for an extension. Yeah. Right. yeah. So Tal, we could do two things here. If you want, we can go issue by issue on the board uh, and then uh, see where we are and how much time it takes. Or uh, we can do uh, the main things uh, such as what we like the the, the, the free 5 GC, like Ronak said, we cannot talk about uh, free 5 GC, sorry, the OAI ran and core, we can get the time estimates. And then obviously from Victor about the test infra. Uh, and then we could do that, which, which way you want to do. Oh, tall. I don't think we need to waste time on every single item because okay. uh, um, if this doesn't, we, we already have a reason for an extension. That's my point. Yeah. The, my question is how much uh, to determine how much <laughs> you need to ask. Question. Yeah. How much? So should we just, uh, we can, that's why I was saying we could go issue by issue or we can just uh, uh, talk to the leads and see whether uh, how much time or how much help they are looking for. Yeah, you do that so, way. As well. That's a good point. I'll I'll put you know the the general issue that if we ask for an extension, basically the the last two weeks of December are kind of just uh, disappeared from the calendar. So yeah, we we can treat them as almost non-existent. Not a lot of work will be done then. So if if we extend, we have to think from January. I think right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, we can also ask for more extensions. We can do it piecemeal, but I think the TSC might get annoyed because we want to uh, start planning for uh, uh, the public release. So um, yeah, I, I think we should try to figure it out right now. You're right. So let's continue going. Yeah, I think... Uh, uh, Sagar, do you have your hand up? Do you want to add something? Yeah, uh, so I just wanted to summarize things, you know, since now you have the board in front of you. So from the OEI side, as Joseph said today, we tested everything end to end with the packages which he created, the packages I created, which are aside 
in the GitHub of OAI, his packages reside in the catalog of Nephew. And we deploy, he deployed both of them in his environment. It worked on the R1 setup. It's going to work also on the R2 setup, Base that the connectivity is fine because in the R2 setup, we have something, we have different, we have new images of the Nephew controller. We have new images for the Porsche. So from the Nephew core side, we have new components. So we have to see the stability of the whole deployment there. That's the only thing now which we have to test. So the packages side, let's say the bigger chunk of the OAI interconnectivity and everything, that's already sorted. So the packages are fine from the core and RAM. They also communicate with each other, so that is fine. It's only, I think, now the work which Victor is doing on the test infra. And once we are able to do on his test infra end to end, I think we'll be good to go from the bigger side. Then, of course, the, the free fair GC part and the other PRs which are ongoing, we can see on that. For example, like even in my deployment, which I was doing for the core side, this week we made a lot of changes with Vim on the bootstrap secret controller. I accommodated, I tried to accommodate that, but then I had some issues uh, again at the this scapper which I was using to interconnect the two uh, two different clusters in the, in the same namespace. Since I faced I faced issues, so I found a workaround, and I'm not using it for let's say for R2, and I'm gonna use that in R3. So, so those things are pretty much sorted. So, and also for the documentation side, I mean I have something already written for bringing up everything from the OEI side, and uh, and then also Joseph has something written, written because Joseph is I mean it's just an add on what I already did. So I think from the documentation side also, we have that .md kind of a file, which we made for free GC. And since we are not using any web GUI, let's say in deploying any of the network functions, so we don't need any screenshots of the web GUI or anything. I mean, I also have the outputs, which we will get. So I think that is also a bit sorted, but if we need more documentation and explaining things which we have changed in uh, R2, then that's a different story. But not, not, not having yes. not having scupper would that prevent your UPF from talking to NRF? I am I so what I'm doing, yeah, I know, but what I'm doing is I, I don't know if you'll like it. <laughs> so I, I just fixed the IP address of uh, Metal LB, you know, as we fixed the IP address of the web GUI. So we had okay. we used a hard coded IP address in the subnet. I took the second last IP address of the subnet, let's say for the edge cluster. And I fixed that also of the core cluster, let's say in NRF. And I and I already tell UPF that this is the IP address of the NRF and use this and it and it is fine. Okay. So uh, so it will it will be fine. Let's say uh, when Alexis will do the testing in his OpenShift environment, he has scapper uh, exchange secret policy and everything using the policy of the open cluster management. So in OpenShift, I created another branch for OpenShift so that he can just use with scapper on OpenShift. And with the adaptations and the operator for OpenShift, so that is also done. So he can also work in parallel once we have the test infra ready. Okay. Yeah. So this this honestly sounds like a lot of moving parts. I think they're they're progressing well, but all of these things take time, you know, and the coordination right? <laughs> between yeah, the effort of everybody involved. Um, yeah, I think first of all, I really want to appreciate uh, Donald, Joseph, and Sagar. Uh, I know it's a lot of things changed from <laughs> where the release started and to accommodate all the changes, API changes, interfaces, et cetera. I really appreciate that. Uh, uh, Sagar, one thing I wanted to understand, slightly better understand, uh, when you say uh, uh, in the, the R1 environment, uh, it worked, uh, can you please help me understand the, the, the meaning of worked here? Does it mean that you were able to ping between, uh, between AMF and SMF? Or, uh, are you were able to make a call? Uh, can you can you help us understand uh, the sense? Yes, so we were able to make a call, let's say. So the final step in free 5 gc deployment was to deploy the core and then deploy the UE RAM sim right and yeah. do the ping. Yeah. So that's the whole procedure of 5G. So we did the whole 5G procedure. And again, so what Joseph did that he tried to ping from the UE to the UPF because as you remember, the, the networking which we are setting up, we cannot use the internet. If we are able, if the networking we set up and we are able to use internet, then we can ping the internet too. So, so that that is the last part which we have to check for connectivity. So that works. 
So, so is, the, is the, is the, R, the R1 environment means that you're using all the UPF deployment, AMF deployments, and, and things. You're using not not the Unify NF deployment. No, uh, I said the, only the R1 infrastructure. Let's say to be I clear. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Only you know this whole to, the topology of regional two edge clusters, but there we we use the new NF config and the new NF deployment package. Okay. So. So there also there was this question like which I think Joseph mentioned that for example in my operators I am deploying the the CRDs and because in free 5GC the operator was deploying the CRDs so probably this time we can have another package which will only deploy the CRDs which will be better so yeah so Sagar uh, so basically we we were able to deploy uh, the OAI core and OAI ran. Yes. And we were able to uh, effective. Wow, that's that's an awesome progress. Yeah, yeah. and and the code the code package comes from GitHub of OEI. The RAM yeah. package comes from GitHub of Nephew. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Is there yeah, a separate think... issue for the OpenShift stuff that Alexei is working on? Uh mm -hmm. I I'm not sure whether it's there is here. Probably I'll create one. I think it was. Uh, it was not originally part of the release. The, the OpenShift changes that he did uh, for the existing uh, cluster creation, the PR is already open there. Uh, on this particular thing, I'm not really sure whether uh, that will. Okay, let me talk. Let me talk to Alexis whether he wants to make it a part of the, this. Hey, hey, guys, I'm I'm on the call, right? So okay. if oh. you want to track it officially, we can do it. Right now, it was more um, something that I was. Uh, discussing with Sagar and we didn't know in which state we would be ending in, in Nephew for R2. The high priority is not about OpenShift, it's about making it work with whatever right. Nephew has to provide for R2. So that's why we didn't make it official. Absolutely. But, but, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. but it can be it can be a it can be a ticket that we track as well. That's uh, up yeah. to you folks to to decide. I don't mind. Well we can track it, but you know it doesn't mean we have to decide it's an R2 or not, but it should be a good idea at least to track it, right? Yes, we can track it. Obviously, I think that will not be a blocker for R2. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, Thank cool. You. Uh, thanks, thanks, Alexis. Sorry, I'm not seeing, I'm not able to see since I'm presenting who is raising the hands or who is the participant. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm keeping track of it. And actually, I wanted to suggest that from now on, uh, yeah. whoever is, uh, so whoever is, so the chair, I think, should not be sharing the screen. <laughs> That's okay. my point, that somebody else in the group would volunteer to share the screen so the chair can make sure that they're seeing, you know, all the conversations, right? Okay. Makes that sense, makes right? Sense. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Simple yeah. solution, right? Yeah. Um, I was starting to drag windows here across desktops. It got a little crazy. So, um, so yeah, so thank you for this. Um, and Tal, uh, just, to, just to continue there, I wanted to just conclude that. So looks like we have made a lot of good progress, uh, but, uh, I mean, there are there are a few things that needs to be done from the free 5GC perspective, uh, and then uh, uh, we need to make sure the uh, this particular setup for OEI needs to work on the 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 new infra that we are going to create for right, uh, right. Uh, for OEI. Uh, Victor, where are we on the infra side? Yeah, um, from. The Simfra perspective, I have uh, created edge clusters. Um, well, I have the PR who creates the, the, the workload clusters, and the, that PR interconnects those clusters and set up the, the network. So that's that's pretty much the, the progress that I have. So for now, um, this is this is this is a, the, the current PR. I guess the next thing is like starting adopting all the Sagar changes like uh, to to put the the workloads on those um, those workload clusters. Um, okay. Um, cool. okay. Uh -huh. Let let's scroll quickly through in progress and see if there's anything else big that's. Uh, okay, I'll do it. That's there. there um, obviously, Stephen, we have the topology. I think you said that that may be ready, but that may not be. Uh, we may not be using that for the integration testing. That's what I think. I, I think. I think definitely we will not be using that for integration testing. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Stephen, do you think we'd be able to mark it as a, an experimental feature for R two? Yeah, yeah. Go for it. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah. I think mm -hmm. that would be good just to show, <laughs> to show the world that there's there's some progress, but we're not saying uh, that it's quite usable yet. Right. It's mm -hmm. not been tested. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Mm -hmm. um, 
uh, topology. That's what we just discussed. Uh, to one relationship, this is mostly documentation. Uh, uh, Re regarding the the SDK, maybe. Um, so I'm not seeing the issue here, but there's the uh, Sandeep's contribution of the um, um, uh, Helm to operator translator, and. Uh, I think it is it's contributed in an epic. I can show you. Uh, oh, let's see. so it's uh, not. Uh, let's see uh, where is this? Uh, yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, I okay, all this. Uh, I think I need to. Uh, I don't know whether Rado, are you on the call? Okay. Uh, Maybe submitted it as a PR without an open issue. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, I think that, yeah, I think that's okay. I think this is where I, I try yeah, I don't, to... I don't, I don't think there's an issue. This it's, okay. it's a, it's a PR. Okay. So, um, so uh, I'll mention I, that I, yeah. I discussed with him, and and um, uh, you know, I, I understand that there is agreement in the operator SDK uh, task force that this will be included in R two, and uh, the PR has been languishing. So I will review that PR. Um, sure. I, was, I wasn't. I wasn't sure if it is going to be part of R two, but we will. We were definitely accepting to the repo. I'm not sure whether it was officially part of R two because it was always uh, a QC. Yeah, I think. Uh, he, I think his main concern was to accept it to the main main uh, repo. I think which we agreed upon. Obviously, it's coming to the main FIA repo. But in terms of, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. It's my understanding is concerned. I think it was not part of official. Well, here's the yeah. thing. If it's inside the repo, the blocker. Let me put it, it is our distribution, yeah. right? So, uh, you know, obviously it's an experimental feature. You know, we're not saying um, that's there, but it will be included in the R2 distribution, just the fact that it's in the repo and tagged, right? So so that's yeah. the point that the PR is accepted before yeah. re release. So, so yeah, so I agree to review, review that PR. Um, uh, but yeah, we don't have an issue for it. Okay. Okay. So um, I thought there was an epic. Uh, I I know there was an epic I created. I'm not able to find it, so I'll, I'll make sure maybe some label is missing or something. That's why. How maybe it's nephew four one five bala? I'm seeing it as nephew four one five on your left screen to do list. Is that the one you're searching? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh right. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank good good days, Varda. <laughs> yeah. So we should move it. Just okay. Terrific. Uh, so that's. That's not a blocker, but I will look at it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so honestly, the, it, it looks like the big ticket items really are uh, OAI and uh, infra testing, right? But this thing, honestly, we are further along. It's, we got some great updates from uh, Sagar and Joseph Lonek today. Uh, I still feel uh, meeting the 15th date would be uh, a bit risky at this moment of time. Oh, I, I would say it's impossible. And um, also because we don't want anybody here to be in a crunch before the holiday. It's, mm -hmm. I'll even say that internally in Google, we have, a, we don't release on December, <laughs> you know, for, <laughs> for these reasons, because, you know, there's a release and people go on holiday and then they have to, uh, there's always little things that you need to fix. And we, we want people to go to holiday and not uh, have to uh, worry. <laughs> right. So, yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I mean, I mean, 15th is next Friday. Even if we start doing integration testing yeah, and no documentations way. right now, I don't think we make 15th anywhere. Zero chance, zero chance. So mm -hmm. I think without a doubt, we're asking for an extension. The question is to when? So my first thought that it could be the two more weeks in January. So something like January 15th, which would be a month, I know, <laughs> but we're, we're taking into account that, you know, it is December. So a lot of time is lost. So... Um, so, Tal, I was thinking we are asking the dates. Uh, so, instead of just asking the for, I know last two weeks of December, obviously we are not considering we. So that's understandable in the sense that last two weeks of December we are, we are not considering as a period of work for us, for many of us. Uh, my only concern with the January fifteenth is. Many people may not be even available first week of January. <laughs> so, so I was thinking end of January. If at all we are asking the dates, we'll explain to them what is remaining. Obviously, we'll create a slide. What are the pending work? 
uh, from a release uh, uh, machinery perspective, a radio of the opinion that once we have all the bets, we can release it uh, in, in, in a matter of hours. So I think those things are streamlined as per radio. That's what I was looking for him in the call today. Uh, so uh, I have a feeling January 15th may be, uh, may be doable, but it's still uh, a bit... Uh, I, I'd like to be slightly conservative based on holiday schedules of different people. Understood. Although we are talking about five weeks from now. So... Um... Yes, yes. We, we, we are essentially telling them is December last two weeks work is not going to happen. So we will come to... But you're, you're adding that January first week is not going to happen too. <laughs> right, right. right. Um, so I, I'm not. Sure, I'm not saying work is not going to happen, but it's, it's going to be slow, especially when it comes to the dependencies and coordination between people. Right. Uh, uh, I think that may be a hamper. So uh, I'm thinking uh, if you say that, then probably uh, second or third week of Jan, whatever the TSC meeting is, we can go then go there with a the proposal. Uh, Right, uh, and then they can bless it, and then we can be we will be able to release it after that blessing in the end of January. That's what I'm thinking. Um, I mean, I mean, that's my opinion. Please, everybody, please chip in. <laughs> yes, please, please chip in, anybody. Yeah. I see no hands raised. Please, <laughs> I'm sure people have opinions. Fish, please go ahead. Yeah, I think I also agree with the January thing too, because January first is a Monday, and people probably take extended, you know extend their vacation, it'll be slow. Uh, I agree with all the points Bala said. And also, I mean, in general, I'm trying to bring the attention back to like, you know, when we just say, oh, we're gonna make it on January 15th, uh, let's have data to back it up, why we cannot make now and why we can make it on January 15th. That is where I was, Bala, uh, that's where I was talking about the release, release nice checklist. The, it's a checklist, you can have all negatives, but it only gives an idea of what needs to be done or what has been done. That will help keep whether it is January 15th or January 30th or February or January 3rd week. I don't want to say February, <laughs> but yeah, that's what I feel. Also, in addition to just picking a date, let's back it up with why we picked that date. Yeah, sure, sure. Rich. I think I think I agree with you. I think we'll I'll, I'll I think this is the same thing we did with the R1 release. I think we'll we'll create a, a deck of readiness of different artifacts. We'll do the same thing. I I, I agree with your uh, suggestion there. So our next uh, TASC TC, uh, sorry, <laughs> my calendar here. Our next uh, FEOTC meeting is, uh, I thought it was tomorrow, but it's not, right? Oh, it is. It is tomorrow. It is. Tomorrow. It is. So um, we need to ask for extension. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we really need to decide now what we're so, doing. Um, so the, the, the only thing, I mean, I, I'm agreeing with the, the idea to request for, uh, um, extending the date so the only thing is like i mean based on the the first release and now in the second release like it seems like like for every single release we're requesting an extension so we have to just keep in mind that like uh, and maybe not for the next release we have to uh follow the same pattern right so yeah we we, we definitely unfortunately repeated our problem with nephew r1 where we worked in a crunch you know we, we we've talked about this there was a slow process in getting uh requirements from sig1 and there were actually probably about three months where we weren't really working doing much work on r2 uh, directly right so we started late and then it became a crunch and we definitely don't want to repeat this so um but this is where we are right now <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. So he, here's the question. Hi, Wim. Uh, uh, please, I see your hand up. Just a quick update that we were, were talking about extensions and trying to consider the date. I suggested uh, the middle of January. Bala suggested maybe the end of January. Uh, yeah, my, my comments, I, I was hearing the discussion a bit. I, was, I joined uh, 15 minutes by now. So uh, the, my, my only thing is, okay, let's define the tasks that are outstanding. So towards which points? and identify them because I don't believe our board uh, has them uh, relevant to make sure that we hit the date because I think we can, uh, we are basically <laughs> wet fingering uh, to, the, to, to what the date would be because we have to identify what needs to happen to get the release out. 
and then uh, identify who's going to do what, because otherwise the date is nothing. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, that's why when we discuss the main release items, so if the board is not up to date, probably we need to make it up to date, honestly. Like the documentation is not there, for example, right? So release yeah, notes, yeah. so we're escaping. So there is a bunch of items that we need to add to the board uh, yeah. that today don't have it even an owner. And I think uh, that's going to be a yes. challenge if we want to give a date. Yeah, I think, uh, yes, you're absolutely right. I think uh, if the items are missing, uh, we should add it. And the two things that I said, if the items are missing, we should add it. And we should also make the board reflect the actual status. That we did not go one by one today, Vim, because we wanted to discuss uh, the big chunk items and then come to one one form of con conclusion. But uh, probably in the next meeting, we should go issue by issue and then uh, we should uh, uh, we should move to the done column, whatever in progress. I have a feeling that some of this may have been uh, done as well. Uh, yeah, so, I, I, for, I think for example, maybe... this one, this one, three sixty two. I think it's it, is, is it. I think it's it. A lot, lot of these things are. No, the C the CRDs are done. I think the the I I see. I think we we hit it. I so I think your seven. I mean, I've been involved with them. <laughs> I haven't talked to them, but I I've uh, solved some issues that they have. I think, but so the. I think for me, the key thing is, okay, where are we with respect to bringing up the radio? Uh, I think that's going to be, because I think a lot of these things are still open because we haven't really, uh, let's say, fully done it. That's why they are open. So I think most of the run point for me, they are all there, but we haven't fully integrated and have an end-to-end -end call and stuff like that. So, so that's what we I, I would like to continue to focus upon because my my view is that from the moment you, I, I do understand we have to balance uh, between work and stuff like that, and everybody has to decide for themselves what he wants to do. But for the, mo for the moment you release the pressure, it's going to, I, typically what you have is it will take a long, and if, yes, so, so it's, it can be even last way longer. Uh -huh. uh, Fikra, you have your hand uh up. So it's just a very quick one. A bit that maybe whoever's assigned to the items could control where they go instead of us doing it in the meeting one by one. If somebody's assigned to an issue and they think that it's done, they can move it to the done column. Yeah, great. No? Absolutely, yes. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I, I, think I, I, think I, I would prefer that, yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, so let's, uh, you know, maybe not everybody is here. Let's, let's post it on Slack for everybody to do some hygiene today. Um, just look to see what's assigned to you. And if it's done, move it to done. If not, maybe give, give, give a quick comment on progress. Um, so we'll be up to date. How does that sound? Yeah. Perfect. All right. That's perfect. We all agree on that. So all of us, let's do a quick hygiene today. Just go over the board. Um, but we still need to decide what we're doing for tomorrow with the TSC meeting. Um, I think yeah. we can be just transparent, say that we, we're not quite sure um, where everything stands. And uh, maybe that's why we want to give a more pessimistic uh, extension. Um, you know, we mentioned mid middle of January, end of January. Maybe it can be in the middle, third week of January, too. Um, but uh, yeah, we don't have a very uh we're not very well defined right in terms so, of so uh, when i say end of january just i wanted to uh what i meant was a week before that uh let's see if there's a tsc meeting a week before that we can go for us we can go and ask for the uh blessing for the release uh and then so there are two steps right all one is we need to go tell the tsc this is what we have can we release it and then only after that we can release it. Uh, that's what we did in R1. I'm not saying we go to we we go to TSC on end of January. We do that before end of January, but actually make the release end of January. I just wanted to make sure that I I I, I communicate what I meant there. Okay, okay. So 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 a freeze early January and a release late January, <laughs> generally. Yes, right. I think uh, the yes, I think uh, if you want to do the uh, release end of January, that means we should be complete by around twentieth of January. Uh, with our testing, we should be in a pretty good shape. That's what I meant. Yeah. 
right, we're, we're being a little bit vague, right, about these things right now. Um, we have uh, one more meeting, right, uh, next week, right, um, for, for SIG2. So our issue only is like what to tell the TSC exactly tomorrow and what to ask for. Yeah, so um, uh, let, let's, let's uh, yeah, I mean, let's, uh, let's fix on what is a good date. Uh, uh, what what's a good uh, i mean I, I i would also uh uh request the actual uh the the doers of the work the, the main main the leads like leads like sagar joseph donak uh stephen Wem, please suggest do you think 15th of jan is good end of jan is good or do you guys have any opinion about any other dates please i, I would like to hear from you guys but, 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 if I may, if I may, if I may, the following, right? So I, I was not in the beginning, but what I'm hearing, I let's say the people are, are pinging me right now. So they, it seems that we have the the radio up and running, right, with the call. Is that correct? Yes, that's what Sagar said. Yes. Okay, so that means that we now have to make it repeatable. So that's good news. So we should basically manage that, right? So that's yeah. I think first uh, thing. Yeah. So which means that we, I, what is missing is basically assembling it as a release. Right? Is that would that be a fair statement? No, not only that. We had to create that infrastructure that we did for that we that Sagar uh, and team suggested for uh, the topology. Okay. Uh, we need to. So do we that. have it. We yeah. have it up and running, but it's manual. It's basically in that environment. So we have to basically make sure that's all getting it's, integrated, uh, integrated. In, in the system and stuff. Yeah. Yes. yes. And repeatable. That's... And repeatable. Repeatable. Yes. And then Ronak had some points for FIFA GC. He wanted mm -hmm. to. Uh, he wanted to. He he wanted to do a few things there, and then uh, Sagar said, uh, Sagar and Joseph have some documentation ready for this. Again, it has to go through some review cycle and then be a part of it. Uh, uh, but we are. I mean, what I'm trying to say is that I, the functionality is not more or less there. It's basically yes. assembling the release and making it a release as such. Right. That's the majority of the work. And making right. it repeatable, integrated in our testing frame, what have you. Okay. Right. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah. So the okay. The key question for me is then: I think we should identify those items that need to happen and and see who can work on it and by when. Right. That's the the missing piece. I think that we are lacking because that's how you can make a date for a date. Yeah, the, the issue is, as we all know, it's always the last mile that's, uh, that drags on. You know, these kinds of integration pieces need coordination between people, time zones, et cetera. So uh, even though the bulk of the work is done, I feel like the, the last mile is always uh, <laughs> ends well, up well, I agree. Yeah. It, I yeah. agree. And, and the, yeah, I agree. And that's, I, I mean, I'm only talking for myself. I like the pressure because that means that, okay, <laughs> let's go for it and let's get it done. Otherwise, it it's, it just I lives forever typically. Okay, I'll do it tomorrow. Okay, I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm talking for myself. Yeah, I. So my thought is, you know, I I feel like everybody who's been involved in this process, we had a, a crunch in R one. We're having a crunch again in R two, and I would just hate for people to feel like uh, this is not a, a fun project to work on, and they're constantly stressed. So. Um, yeah, I know there's pressure to release to the public and everything, but I, I'm I'm a bottom from the ground up person. You know, it's on the, the engineers on the ground and the trenches that are most important and most valuable. Uh, you guys are making this project work. So I even think that even if the TSC is disappointed by a, a release date and might not look in press releases so well that we're delaying, uh, the well-being of our, our engineers is the most important. So I understand some people enjoy stress, some people a bit less, but I'm I'm in favor of leaning towards, uh, as Bala said, uh, a later date. And you know what? If, if we're able to release early, that's great. You know, if, if we're doing it ahead of time, we can tell the TSC uh, we're finished, we're ready to release. That, that would be a good thing, right? But I would, if, if the TSC is tomorrow, I would not really give them a date, but basically say that we are assembling uh, the items that are missing exactly, to yeah. give, deliver them a date, right? Is that not more fair in that we start to do the work to identify those items? 
And right, that's what I suggested I that think, we I, I, think, I think we know the items, Vim, right? We know the items. Yeah, so but we need to if we go to TSA tomorrow and say we don't know what we are, that's going to be a very bad message in my view. If we go to TSA tomorrow and sure. say we cannot release it, and by the way, we really don't know why we cannot release it. So that will be not a good message. So, yeah, but how many people do we have to work on it? Because I I feel that the loss of it is in the hands of Joseph and Sagar and Victor <laughs> at the moment. Yes, that's true. That is one of the things so, from the so, perspective. The one thing that we did not do from release one to release two is we wanted to spread and onboard more people, you know, like, uh, and then uh, spread out the work, which we were not able to do again in the R2. Probably that's something we need to consciously do for R3, where we can see how we can onboard a uh, few more people. That's why, yeah, I, I like yeah, I know the... Vish is very passionate about this. Vish has been saying this for a while now. I think that is something we have missed. I think that's this is something we need to uh, consciously tackle as a community for our team. Not, not just fish. So Liam mentioned, you know, better documentation for onboarding. Yeah. Uh, to be fair, we've done some work on that. You know, we've divided things into task forces, and uh, you know, I think a lot. We have a structure for more distribution of work, but we all know that R two was a. Uh, uh, it's a strange release, right? We didn't really have a clear plan, and we kind of. Uh, Within SIG 2, we just did what we wanted to do, right? We didn't have very clear guidance from SIG 1 in terms of what were the, the big items that, that we, we need to show. So we, yeah. we've treated it as an incremental release from R1, which is absolutely fine. Um, uh, but yeah, I, I, <laughs> I shared the sentiment. Yeah, I really hope that R3 will be better. But I think we're evolving, right? I, I don't... I'm, yeah. I'm not that too disappointed. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think from a work left perspective, I was thinking, Wim, Wim please agree, uh, disagree with me. I think the work left right now is to tightening up the, the OAI pieces and then tightening up the infrastructure and making sure the OAI end-to-end -end call, both the deployment and the call works in the new infrastructure that Victor and Sagar is working on. And then uh, reviewing all the PRs, merging the PRs, uh, uh, in these areas and then write the documentation, uh, which we have a start from Sagar and Joseph and also write the documentation for the topology uh, feature that Stephen is doing. I think these are the most important pieces for R2. Yes. And obviously we have the, uh, uh, obviously we have the, uh, the, the helm to operator thing. That's according to me, more like a, like an experimental feature. Uh, I think uh, if we are able to merge in time, we will that will be part of R two as well, but that is not a blocker for R two. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think this is my understanding. Uh, is has uh, is uh, is this not the right understanding? Or if there is anything missing, please uh, the anyone please please raise your hands and uh, keep me honest. So we we have four and, minutes left. I I have a feeling that we we can have this conversation with the TSC openly. There's no. <laughs> We're all on the same team here, so we can be very clear about it tomorrow and uh, decide together then what to do. Yeah, I think I'll create one slide for TSC tomorrow, uh, uh, Wim and Tom. Uh, that would be wonderful. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah about, kind of summarizing. About, about, about the actual uh, pending work. And, and I, I'm pretty sure they will ask for a date. We cannot say, we cannot not go there with a date, with an extension. They will ask for a date. So I, I'm, I'm in the opinion that we can. I think we can be transparent about that. We don't know exactly what the date and we can try to figure it out. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, three minutes left. I, I did, I, I don't think we'll be able to decide, but on the agenda is, so we have, uh, as everybody knows, a very large- so, 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 Sorry, sorry, Tal, that will okay. not be a good answer to TSC. I'm, 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 I'm being a devil's advocate here. Yeah. Uh, I don't and, think that- and, the and, and the fact that Paula is a TSC member, he can, he can probably give a TSC opinion. <laughs> No, I'm not even not wearing my TSC hat. Actually, to be honest with you, I forgot that <laughs> I am a TSC <laughs> member. But that is that is not going to be a good answer. I can tell you that. Well, it, it, but it's what we have. That, that's my point. That I, I don't think by in the next three minutes we're going to get a better answer than the one we have. So that's what I was. I was. I was trying to hope whether Joseph or Sagar. Do you have any opinion or any uh, concerns if you make it end of January? Do you think that's achievable, doable? It's too much. I was I was trying to hear their opinion. Uh, it is achievable, I think. Yeah, I think we were trying to do it 
by next week but i think it's too much like you said because you have to do all the documentation and uh, other things so yeah i think january end is okay for me sagar yeah yeah, yeah I, i i agree i agree with joseph you know i mean we were really pushing it for the next week uh, but even if it's in uh, of course if it's in, in january end it will be doable of course even if it's january end i just one thing we should make sure that the board stays as it is you know there are no new task if we have a new task we have a new feature we put in r3 but not in r2 and the board yeah. stays as it is yes and if we are able to release earlier then we can release earlier if the board finishes Yes. Right. Yes. I I'll, I'll just add the task for documentation. That's it, Sagar. No other thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, so uh, why why don't you, why don't why don't well, we go to the end of January? Well, just just one one additional request. I mean, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. As long as we keep the scope as it is, we, we can make it. But also, we depend too much on on reviews from others. Um, so please, please, please. Uh, uh, whatever patch that we submitted or. Or PR that we have open um, regarding to this particular task, because any any review, any suggestion to to modify or testing is more than welcome. So that that definitely will accelerate the the, the process to release more things. So yeah, yeah. So one minute left. I want to suggest on this that um, if anybody needs a review, find somebody directly and ask them. <laughs> find them on Slack and say, hey, could you review this? Uh, leaving them open to review has been kind of difficult to to find people to jump in on it. Everybody's a little overwhelmed with things, so uh, that's my suggestion to try to do that on Slack. You can even do it openly on the SIG Automation channel, or you can really just send direct messages to people, see if they're available to to review. Um, yeah. So, okay, thanks. So thanks. We're, we're, we're out of time for today. Uh, uh, let's continue to discuss on Slack if there's uh, other issues. So uh, yeah, before we before we party, is it, I I just want to make sure are we in agreement that we'll 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 suggest end of January date. That's what I was. I I think the main stakeholders agreed. I think. I think they agreed, but uh, as you pointed out, Bala, we, yeah, we, we I guess the proof, <laughs> if we need to give an evidence based uh, uh, ask for the TSC, we can say that the engineers uh, suggested that. Uh, End of January. Yes, yes, we will identify the task. The, the deck I'm going to create is going to have those tasks uh, that we just talked about, high level things, uh, along with the re release hygiene. And then uh, if, yeah, we had to, we had to give a date. <laughs> let's, let's put it this way. Otherwise, it will not be a good, good thing. Well, I, you know, the meeting is tomorrow, but we can also give a date over email over the next few days yeah, or even the next week. So, um, I think that's my point. I don't think that tomorrow is a huge deciding factor for our release date. Um, yeah, okay. So, Vim, you had you had you had some Yes, Vim, you had a strong opinion too. I think. Uh, what What do you think? No, I mean, I give. It, I mean, I'm okay for now. End of January should be fine. I'm expecting them to put some pressure, but okay, I give it. I mean, I'm okay. End of January should be fairly feasible. Uh, that's not a problem. But, yeah. If we have to give a date, we have to. We can give a date. I prefer not to give a date by now because we are not ready. But uh, if we have to give a date, uh, then we can we can say that uh, in my view. But okay. I would prefer not to give a date if we don't have to. Yeah, I, that was my point too. That I don't think by tomorrow we can, we can give a date that we're absolutely, you know, January seventeenth that we'll be ready. We don't know that for sure yet. So, but we can be transparent to the TSC about this and just see what to do from there. Yeah. Okay. All, All right. right. Uh, thank you, everybody. We we can continue to discuss on Slack. Thanks. Thank you. Have a great Bye. day. Bye. 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 Bye.